So this video was supposed to come out last year, <laughs> but I kind of forgot about this video. Then my PC broke two times. So I had to get like another case and a new SSD. During that process, I kind of forgot to back up the music project for this video. So, uh... Ah! Yeah, it was a fucking pain in the ass to re-record everything. Luckily, the video files were backed up for this video. But the problem with that is, it was recorded with my old setup. And... Ooh, 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 man, that, that's a night and day difference. I don't want to re-record the video again with my new setup. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> Down and Dirty is the type of band that would release like maybe one or two songs in between like a couple of months and then they just disappear. It's a shame because I actually like the band. They weren't like groundbreaking or anything, but they really had a great metalcore post-hardcore sound. Heck, they even put a guitar solo in one of their songs, which is like one of the greatest sins in metalcore and hardcore music. Absolutely no guitar solos. It's sad now because now they're not a band. They split up. Nick and I got a chance to talk with the former vocalist from Down and Dirty, Ezekiel. If you want to know what he sounds like, check out the video Down and Dirty, Heaven Sent. He's a great vocalist, so yeah. Yeah. Did Denise form the band first? Like, originally Denise was the... Yeah, yeah. he was, uh, the way Down and Dirty formed is he, like, basically joined this band oh. at the Ruins. Yeah, yes. rebranded. He ended up getting pulled to do Down and... or uh, Asking Alexandria. They did auditions for Down and Dirty, and... You got you know, in, I guess. Yeah, yeah that happened. <laughs> what the hell just happened? We got shelved by the label. They didn't want to do anything with us. This was Sumerian, right? Yeah, they were like, uh, you know, I don't know. It's up in the air. I think it's because Denise was still on a contract. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's how you pronounce his name, Nick. Uh, you is, can't laugh. Is it actually? <laughs> yeah, that's Denise? actually, that's how they oh, pronounce it. That's the girl's name, right? I mean, yes, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the first thing you do is open up the door. I'm just gonna go with Cubass, cause bass. Tempo should be like a rockish tempo, 100 BPM. I'm just gonna go with 103. Grab like some low tune guitar. You need to like drop A flat, you know? Pretty straightforward, put a lot of distortion too. Simple riffs. That'll probably be like your intro. Then for like your verse, I don't know. There's like the part where you go like this. Somewhere around the chorus, you wanna play like some fast paced thing. If you're having a hard time with the riff, just play something like this. Um, when it comes to breakdowns, just, just some palm mute open chugs. Throw in some pinches. Um, add some more breakdowns, but this time use the evil note. And then um, put some glitches everywhere. Dude, can you come up with like some kind of cool break after the breakdown? No problem, Nick. I got you back, brother. Uh, uh. Actually, you're not supposed to finger the bass. Oh. I'm sorry, guy. You got a pretty big pick, so you can pick her pretty well. Everything you play on a guitar, you do the same thing on the bass. So for the drums, you're gonna kind of just like wapow it. Um, every kick, you know, goes to some kind of chug. Um, snare is, uh, you know, on the usual places, and um, pretty much just uh, China. China. All right. So when you're writing a down and dirty kind of song, there's not a lot of history to base any inspiration off of as there was only like three songs that were officially released um, but the basic themes on the Dennis era of songs at least were about having a dream and never giving up on it and you're not gonna take shit from nobody like like you were gonna make it happen regardless of what anyone else has to say so when it comes to the actual screaming part of things you, you basically want to just like wheeze very aggressively like a like a one thing to take into consideration when writing a down and dirty kind of song is somewhere in the intro you want to just hold out a scream for no particular reason other than it sounds cool 
When it comes to the vocal phrasing of things, you want to add a lot of like voice drops or dips or whatever the technical term is, but like you, you want to scream a word, but then every so often you want to stop screaming and kind of have like a huh. And on top of that, um, layering, layer your screams so much. You need to have a high scream, and then at the end of the line, do a low layer, and then you do that like every other line. And lastly, it's not something that you necessarily need to do, but you kind of have to do it. I have some sort of whoa gang vocal chant melody thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and I almost forgot, you you need to have hair. You need to have that like Ollie Sykes, Kellen Quinn, Mitch Lucker, every other vocalist of the early 2000s metalcore era. Like you have to have that kind of hairstyle. Otherwise it's, you know, the song's just not gonna be good. There's nothing to say cause I'm bad